Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Indian lifestyle versus American lifestyle, which is better. Before we dive in and see which is better, I need you guys to smash that subscribe button, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested, and let's do this. India and the United States of America are two countries which are progressive in their own way. USA mm. of course is a superpower and India in the recent past has imbibed a lot from the western ways of living. Oh. However, in this video I am going to compare the modern American ways of living with our ancient Indian style oh. of living in seven major categories. I will also share with you my personal take on the matter so that we can get the best of both the worlds. So okay. without any further delay, let's get started. Hello friends, welcome to FitTuber. Starting with number 7 on the list are clothes. In India, mm. it was always counseled to dress in natural fibers that breathe. Specific clothes were even described for specific seasons. Cotton oh. in summers, wool in winters, silk in rainy season and so on. Even Makes the ornaments sense. worn by women were not just for physical appeal but had a health aspect to it. Gold was known to boost immunity, silver to cool oh. inflammation, copper is antiseptic and so on. Basically, really? there was a whole science of dressing for optimum physical and mental well-being referred to as Ayurvastra in our yogic scriptures. However, the American style of clothing is mostly focused on convenience and comfort, Facts. which is why Facts. they prefer synthetic fibers which do not wrinkle easily, are more durable and are easy True. to manufacture. Then there is the climatic. Whenever it comes to America, most, most categories are going to be about convenience. Convenience is probably the number one thing here, dog. Like when it comes to food, when it comes to clothes, when it comes to living, convenience comes above everything else over here aspect to it as well. The tight clothing like suits, ties and shoes does help them beat off the extreme chilling climate in the west. Indians in hot tropical climate were better off in loose clothes and chappals. Oh, Next on I the list that. is food. For an average American, nearly two-third of his daily calories come from ultra-processed food, Facts. according to a study done at the University of San Diego. This is because Americans focused on convenience and productivity. Tell Indians you. on the other hand have always preferred cooking their meals from scratch at home. Ooh. The endless variety of Indian cuisine is an evidence of it. Even Ooh. the harder tasks of procuring and hand pounding the spices at home, preparing ghee at home were not uncommon. Indians have always considered kitchens to be no less than a working dispensary where different herbs yeah. and spices were carefully used not just to satisfy the palate but to ignite the digestive fires as suggested in the Ayurvedic scriptures. Another major difference lies in the food know. choices. American food is largely meat based. Yeah. In the US, the meat consumption is at a staggering 90 to 125 kg per person per wow. year, a majority of which come. I eat a literal like, ton of meat, like, yes, <laughs> every day. Like, I eat at least half a pound to a pound of meat, gotta be at least. Like, I don't know, I just, <laughs> I'm carnivorous in, in my nature, dog. But uh, I would love to try like some like authentic Indian food. Like I would love, cause I see things like when I'm watching TV shows and stuff, and I'm like, dang, I'm seeing curries and stuff. I'm like, dang, I'd actually love to try that. I'd love to give it a shot. Not the really hot stuff, cause I don't see too many where it could just be too hot and people be dying. But but I would love to try some genuine Indian food comes from red meats like pork and beef. On the yes. other hand, Indian society used to be majorly vegetarian. Oh, really? Ancient Indian principles of food suggested that man being the most conscious animal on earth should eat food which involves least amount of violence. Oh. Eating vegetarian may seem as a backward practice at first, but in the recent past due to the spread of so many animal origin viruses, it actually seems a far-sighted thought. Now let us I talk about that. the eating. I just can't, I can't, I can't eat mostly vegetables. I understand the benefits and everything that come with it. I just can't. I can't. Uh, like I said, I'm carnivorous in nature. I, I need it. I can't do the vegetables. There can't is a stark it. difference in the eating habits of ancient Indians and modern Americans. 
Driven by comfort and time saving practices, Americans prefer eating sitting on a dining table. Whereas, yes. driven by health and spiritual goals, Indians would prefer eating on the floor sitting cross legged. Ah. This asana is called Sukhasana, which is considered ideal to digest food. Americans really? find eating with hands to be gross. They use sophisticated cutlery. Indians, on the other hand, understood that the fingertips literally charge the food particles, which makes it get digested and assimilated better. Indians also practice serious? eating on banana leaf and plates made of sal leaves which are not only eco-friendly but also offer numerous health benefits. Americans did not mind eating in disposable plastic plates. Next is sustainability. That's very interesting though, that cross-legged. I think it is healthier because like to this day I cannot sit cross-legged like that without it like being absolutely painful. I feel like that would help with my flexibility 100%. Uh, yes, I'm not used to eating with my hands like that. That's very interesting. I didn't know. Like, it seems like the Indians are like very knowledgeable about like how everything affects their body, how everything affects their diet, what foods are better for you, how to eat the foods. Like it, it seems like and they're very knowledgeable about all of these things. Whereas us Americans, like I said earlier, it, it just comes down to convenience versus convenience. There are many distinct habits of modern Americans and ancient Indians that suggest that modern Americans are more inclined towards convenience, while Indians believed in sustainable living. One is the preference of toilet papers by Americans to clean the bum after defecation instead of using yeah. water. Washing rather than water is, is not smarter. I, I would say water is like the more I've seen I was like that makes more sense to me than toilet but like having the bidet does make more sense to me only more hygienic and healthy but also helps the environment in a huge way. But wait a minute, isn't water also a scarce resource for us? Of course it is but the disturbing fact is that just one toilet paper uses a whopping 140 liters of water to get oh, wow. After washing hands an American would look for a tissue paper while an Indian would use a cotton cloth. Americans a rag, clean their teeth a using plastic toothbrushes and chemical I guess yeah if you're at a restaurant actually you'd use like paper towels. But at home, I'd use a rag. Wash my hands or dry them off, I'd use a rag. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look like use any kind of paper towels or anything. Just grab a rag. Toothpaste. Whereas Indians always preferred the eco-friendly and non-toxic twigs. Even for huh. cleaning the tongue, Indians preferred the antimicrobial copper-based tongue cleaners rather than the convenient but non-biodegradable plastic ones. Then Americans prefer the convenient aluminium foils to wrap their foods, ignoring the repercussions yes. of it. While Indians always felt muslin cloths are a healthier choice, as unlike aluminium, they do not leach any chemicals into the food. Indians would prefer wow. cool water from a matka rather than a refrigerator. It is not a coincidence that you are less likely to catch sore throat when you drink optimally cool water from a biodegradable mud pot. Now let's differentiate the general ways of living. Dang, An American would wow, shake hands. Like we just living, <laughs> we just living bad over here, dog. It seems like everything we doing is the wrong way to do things. Like. God day. <laughs> when greeting while an Indian would fold hands in a namaskar mudra. This is one thing that the world has now started to appreciate. The literal meaning of namaste is namaha, that is I bow down to the divine soul within you. Not only it enhances the feeling of gratitude but is also more hygienic. Unlike Americans, True. Indians would always remove the shoes outside the house before entering. It's another intelligent way to keep the germs at bay and even saves your time and effort in cleaning the house. The way the way Indian that. and Western style toilets were designed is surprisingly a good way to understand the philosophies to the way of life of both these nations. While in Indian style there is no contact of the buttocks or thighs Ooh. to a seat that could be unhygienic. Then it's a proven fact today that the closer we are to squatting the more easily we empty the bowels. While the Indian style toilet nah, is more see. convenient for your intestine, Western style is more comfortable to sit at. With yeah, I gotta I got see it though. I gotta. I can't like squat, but my <laughs> I see why yeah y'all probably is a lot healthier. Y'all bones and joints probably stronger from doing a lot of these things and more flexible. But I gotta sit down.
I got to. Which led to its fast adoption. Next point on the list is areas of innovation. There is no doubt about the fact that America has produced some of the most innovative products in the last century. America is the hub of new products and is a heart of innovation across the globe. Be it yeah. milestone achievements in communication, transport, electricity, or daily consumer products. The American innovation has been driven to boost efficiency, productivity, comfort, and materialism, which in turn uplifts the economy. On the other hand, Indian innovation was mostly focused on spiritual growth mm. without compromising on environment or personal health. It might seem a hard fact to digest now, but Indian innovation has been par excellence when it comes to architecture of temples, be it the Kailasha temple of Ellora or the Hampi temple whose tones sound like musical instruments, the unbelievable oh, wow. style of cooking food or the smartly built forts by the kings or the mysterious 1600 year old iron pillar of yeah, Delhi which has not rusted yet. These are few among the many riddles which scientists are still trying to figure out. Finally, let's talk about the proactive versus reactive approach. There are many ways one can conclude that Indians were proactive whereas Americans mm. have been reactive in approaching health and well-being. For true, example, India true. has always propagated the use of clay pots for cooking which retains the maximum nutrition of food, has no side effects really? and is also biodegradable. On the other hand, most Americans use the convenient non-stick cookware which surely yes. would not make their omelette stick but the toxic fumes of the coating of utensil would definitely harm them in the long run. According to American school of thought, food is merely a combination of nutrients. This has led to the extensive use of synthetic multivitamin pills in the West. Indians on the True. other hand had more natural ways integrated in their lifestyle which provided them with the necessary micronutrients. Cooking in cast iron pots kept their iron levels in check. Tin coating inside the brass cooking utensils was a way by which Indians would get their daily dosage of zinc. Drinking water from copper vessels kept their copper levels to optimize. And of course, Indians pressed on eating local fruits and vegetables because they knew that their bodies would assimilate the micronutrients from them much better. Americans today are trying to battle with their sleep issues, depression, and stress through yeah. synthetic pills. For yeah. Indians, yoga was a way of life which would align their inner I energies with the nature so that stress, anxiety, depression, and insomnia were not more a concern. Even I love that because I don't like the fact that like it seems like any problems that like we have here America like there's some kind of pill for it. you got to turn to some kind of pill for it, rather than like doing a natural way of things or like he said being proactive instead of reactive in the sense that let's do these things these other things on a daily basis so that you don't feel you know what I'm saying the, the depression so that you don't feel this that you don't feel that let's let's get you in a habit of doing great things naturally instead of turning to pills for every single thing even in money matters, Americans do not focus much on savings. Indians, on the other hand, spend less and save more for the future. So we can see that American ways of living are short-term, comfort-oriented, with some having major trade-offs in health and well-being. And ancient Indian ways of living were driven by long-term spiritual goals without any compromise on environment or health. Although it will be a hard pill for us to swallow that many of the ancient Indian practices mentioned in this video may not fit in our urban lifestyle. Honestly, how many of us can use cow dung cakes for daily cooking? Nor would we want to use cancer-causing non-stick plants that the best gift it to us. So what is the solution? Like all Indian mm. practices are not impractical, not all American ways of living are bad for health. We can try Thank to pick you. the best of both I the world so that the whole package is somewhat practical with least compromise on health. Like for all the packaged products we buy, we can at least make sure that they use safe and natural ingredients. Switching to twigs instead of commercial toothpaste may not be a pragmatic option for many, but least we can do is start using the safer ones, including seasonal mm. and local fruit and vegetables in our diet is fairly a practical thing True. to do. Likewise, it may be hard for you to eat all your meals with hands sitting down on the floor. But the least we can do is to eat every meal consciously with a feeling of gratitude. In case of cookware, we can easily replace aluminium and plastic stuff with our good old metals and clay pots. Similarly, it may not be feasible for us to do yoga for 2 hours, but at least we can do is start doing it for 15 minutes. I like we that. can then tackle our modern day hurdles with smile and calmness. 
Importantly, we should not look at our practices from the eyes of the West. Many practices may seem backward at once but were actually far-sighted. Indian culture is extremely rich in its own way and we should be proud of it. I want to thank Grow for partnering with us for Skip the sponsorship, but man, I completely agree with him. I, I love the way that he points out, like, it, uh, to be honest, it just seems like America, we bad for the environment. <laughs> Americans, we are bad for the environment, dog. A lot of their stuff is just more natural, biodegradable things. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Things that won't hurt the environment, won't harm the environment. They get all of their nutrients natural, whether it be the way they cook things, what they're eating. Uh, it just it, they're very natural as to we're very synthetic, processed. Uh, <laughs> Uh, just a lot of different things, but our way of living is a lot more convenient. That is true. So I feel like, yeah, there's there's some you can combine the best of both worlds by just maybe d picking things from me. Maybe you can't do it the way they do it in India, but but you can. I guess do an easy way of it. Like you said, yoga may not be. You may not be able to do that two hours a day. Might be too busy, but you can do it fifteen minutes a day. You don't have to cook in this, uh, you know what I'm saying? Non-stick skillets and stuff. You can use clay pots and copper. Was it was it copper? I, I don't remember. But uh, 